first thing to remember is to dress properly. Drink water for your muscles and for hydration. Remember to warm up and do a couple minutes of light stretching, yoga, foam roller, or whatever your favorite exercises are to get your body ready for a workout. Taking longer will allow you to get stronger by using proper form and using your muscles. Rushing increases the risk of injury. So alignment, keeping your body as straight as possible, keeping the core engaged from your toes to your head, moving them all in the same direction at the same time will allow your body and your core to get stronger. The further apart they are with twisting, bending, the more out of alignment you get, the more vulnerable your body will be. Start slow with smaller amounts of snow in the shovel, just like you would any strengthening program. Use your legs as much as possible. Keep your body tall. Keep your mind and body prepared as if every shovel you lift is a heavy shovel of snow. This will allow you to be prepared for anything that's on your shovel and allow you to get stronger instead of surprised as you lift the snow. Every shovel should be the same from your first one to your last. Don't take one shovel off mentally or physically because that could be the one that finds your weak spot. There are two grips, one with the palm up, one with the palm down. I suggest the palm down. The palm up hurts the shoulder, the elbow, works the bicep a lot harder, but the palm down allows you to work your lat muscle or your back muscle, which is a much stronger muscle and a much more appropriate muscle for shoveling snow. This is the snow plow. This is great for the legs. It's great for warming up your body before you start lifting snow. Be careful with your wrist because if the shovel hits a seam or cement or a piece of ice, the shovel can kick back into your wrist. So make sure you're holding them firmly and being careful. This is the deadlift low row. You're getting low. You're using your legs. You're keeping your core engaged as you come up. You're moving your body as one unit. You're keeping your head over your body. You don't have to see where the snow goes because where your head goes, your body will follow. So the more straight you keep your head, the more in alignment your body will stay. You'll also notice that the arm pulling motion works the back a lot more than the arm, and it allows your whole body to be involved in the shoveling motion, which will allow you to get stronger. Always protect your knees and your hips by moving your body all at once, all together. Don't keep your feet planted. Stay on your toes. Keep your feet light. Keep them moving so that your body is not getting overextended or twisted or in positions that will allow it to be vulnerable. Once you're warmed up and you start shoveling, you can pick up speed. I do say this with caution because the more properly you do the shoveling, the better shape you'll get and the more you protect yourself. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's the whole idea of shoveling is to continue that same motion over and over. If you want it to be a cardio workout, use more consistency, a steady pace, and continue to move with lighter shovels of snow. If you want to do more strength training, once you are very warmed up, be very careful, and you can use heavier shovels of snow, but be more slow and deliberate as you do that, and really make sure that you're working the muscles that you want to work and protecting the ones that aren't meant to be worked during that movement. If you have any questions or comments or techniques that you found that work for you, please let me know. I'm always looking to improve my health and the way I do things, and I'm always looking to use that to help others. I have to finish with a great quote. Always remember, if you're cold, the heat is in the shovel. I got that comment from my father-in-law. That's what his uh, father used to tell him when they were working. He actually said, uh, always remember the, if you're cold, the heat is in the tool. So they were working with cement. So those guys know about strong bats. Also, I'd like to let you know the description in full detail is completely written out. The exercises, how to do them, 
all the tips on how to keep your feet, your hands, how to work and move through the motions, how to keep your body aligned, will all be in the description section of this video. Be safe, have fun, and use every opportunity you can to become healthier and stronger and share that information with your family. Always remember before and after exercise to get your adjustment from your chiropractor to keep your back as healthy as possible during all the different activities that you do each day.